Hey guys, welcome back. Episode 10 of my Feed the Beast Let's Play. Uh, you're pretty much finished. Um, so I've changed this up. Instead of splitting it four ways, it now goes around in a circle. So it's, you know, much more efficient that way. Uh, this room isn't near complete. So you need to do decorating as well as the roof. So uh, the roof is, is kind of finished. What I need is uh, I've done the frames, I've done the motor, I've got the solar panels for Bluetricity. And just need to rig them up somewhere up there so they can work back and forth, but mm, I'll do that another day. Um, I've been working a little bit back here. Um, yeah, these are silverwood, they're not birch. They're, they're the blue magical trees. I have been cutting down plenty of them, but not from around here. I've been going very far away. Um, so, you know, they won't affect around here. And I've also gone and got myself a few saplings for it. So I've managed to... Uh, plant some more there. Now, um, this is kind of the, the look I'm going to go for down here. I, it might change from this point here forward. I'm not sure. We might have it be like old temple meets forest type of feel to it. Uh, I've got a really, really, really cool idea for the ceiling. It came to me and I just like, dude, there's a reason why I build in circles. But yeah. Um, so these are great wood uh, logs and then... Um, jungle leaves and I have them so it looks like they're kind of growing but not really growing you know so it, it, I kind of made it look as if they're they're growing but man-made growth type of thing if that makes sense instead of having like giant bushes everywhere because that would just be weird and something else I really like about these logs is they actually give off a uh, light level of seven like a redstone torch so um we're gonna have maybe another spawner here I'm not sure what for just yet but um There'll definitely be something else here, so it's not just going to be a blank wall. But uh, yeah, this is the look I'm going to be going for, and I really like it. I think it really does look nice. Now with the uh, the trees here, I'm actually going to have them so they branch over the ceiling and all come together, and then have like hanging stuff and things like that. Uh, one of the things I'll be having hanging down there will be melons, as well as will oh, I forgot. Last episode I didn't eat me wafers, so this episode. We're going to survive off these. So we'll plunk you there and then put you there. Um, so, yeah, I'm also going to be having pumpkins, but they're going to be lit pumpkins hanging down. So it's going to be very, um, very kind of natural, almost Halloween y feel, I think. Not just because of the pumpkins, but because it's all dark and mysterious and all that stuff. And we're going to have like these lights in the trees as well and things like that. Uh, you'll notice I've moved all the benches and things like that. They're going to be up in that one. And this one here is going to hold all the things for the aspects for the crafting. Uh, it's um, Thumbcraft, if you guys didn't know about aspects and all that stuff. You probably do though, so I'm going to shut up. But um, yeah, I've got dark wood here. I don't think... No, I haven't got any on me. I've got dark wood from the Twilight Forest. They're the really hard to cut down trees with the leaves in them and things like that. So I snagged myself a few of them. And we're going to kind of half implement them a little bit. Because I figured... This kind of, it almost looks like carpet, to be honest, so that's why I kind of used it. But I do like it, it looks really nice. Uh, so I figured go a little bit darker with some wood every now and then. And I like it on its side, rather than pointing straight up, just personal preference. I'm going to have this design here, with the way the ceiling moves, as well as the walls over here. Except for, obviously, without glass, because we have quite a way to go to um, see outside. My phone just goes off in the worst times ever. Okay. Um, so, yeah, my girlfriend... My girlfriend's cat died a few days ago, basically. Or maybe a week ago. And um, her dad brought her a kitten. And she was all happy and stuff. And then the kitten ran away. And the only thing I said to her was, lol, that's funny. And she got kind of pissed off at me. But her kitten came back, so I'm off the hook. Everyone's happy. Great. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's what the texts are about. Um, so, with this room, yeah, this is the look we're going for. I might dip this down one level. I'm not sure. We'll see. But, uh, you see here, I've done the door. The button is a little bit further away from the door. With um, piston doors and things like that, I try to have the button within two blocks. So, either right here or right there. But it's, in, it's just not working out. I find it easier just to use that. And then over here it's within two blocks so it's all good. 
It almost looks like a group of face if we got rid of this bit here and that bit there, but, you know, meh, same difference. Um, gonna set up a balcony. This isn't what the balcony's gonna look like. I'm gonna make the balcony out of wood, I think. Maybe grow some great trees up this way and this way and have it so it looks like the balcony's part of it or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, meh, I might as well, uh, should I? Would I? Should I? Uh, no. Basically, the wire is coming down here into a transponder, is it? I haven't got it. Yeah, trans... Yeah, we've already cut. Let's go. So, um, yeah, it goes into one of these transmitters. That's the word. Uh, frequency 10. Get out. So it's, it's wireless redstone linked up to this circuit here. This is the opposite side. Frequency 10 again. And then they all come down to this guy here, which is the receiver. Frequency 10. And then he flicks this. Which does that. And it's easier than having two wires running down here, along here, connect here. You know, it's just up there to down here. Easier. Um, plans for downstairs. I was looking at making the um, making the processing room. Oh, Christ. Way over there inside that mountain, I was saying. It'd be cool to make something out of in there. And then I figured with the portal and stuff moving back and forth from there, it'd just be fairly laggy, to be honest, and all that stuff. So, yeah, we are keeping the design of the uh, nether brick down here. We're no longer going to have a portal here, and the processing room is no longer going to be down that way. It's going to be directly under us, here. But it's not going to be like so, it's another going to be another drop down, and then you're there. This could be like a windy staircase, it's going all the way down. And then we'll have just like a full drop right in the middle, so you can just plummet straight down. And I think we might make like our arcane, arcane levitators in the middle. For, um, you know, if you're lazy going up. And uh, the reason why I have arcane levitators, and you know, you might be thinking, we well, have a jetpack. I don't always have my jetpack on me. Like sometimes it runs out of power and all that stuff. So, you know, and for variety, why not? So it's either going to be directly underneath us with a spiral staircase. It might be, I think, about 30 to 40 blocks beneath us. So it's almost. Where are we? What way are we facing? That corner there is the corner for the outside, and then it slopes inwards into the mountain. So this is going to be a fairly narrow staircase. It'll be this will be center. It might be only out about here, which will be there. So it'll be fairly narrow, to be honest. Um, it's either going to be directly beneath us, or else I'll make like a staircase going down here. And uh, I, I might do that because you can make a nice archway out of it and have it go underground, dark and spooky, and all that crap, you know. So it'd be cool. So that's what we're going to be working on today with the processing room because I have all the equipment here. These, this is basically everything that's going to go into the processing room. And another reason why I didn't want to um, put the processing room down that way is because... Shut up. Is because this place up here, I have it rigged up so... You know, I, I have a lot of power here. A lot of power. This is full. That's full. That's full. Or almost full. And that isn't full but it will fill. You know, so we have a lot of power here, and this is like the main power box we have. So I didn't want to go ahead and rig up another one there, and you know, and have chunk loaders and all that stuff. So I figured keep it all in the same place. And with this stuff here, instead of wanting blah, running a wire all the way down, because that that'll be really weird. So if you can hear stuff ha uh, happening outside, by the way, guys, Ugh, my uh, neighbors are doing construction or some crap. I don't know. They're farmers, so we'll forgive them. Um, I think I might rig up some sort of system here, so like um, this dude powers energy cells or batteries or some sort, or even uh, an MFE in a cart maybe, and then it'll go down to like processing room, keep delivering power back and forth. We might try something like that, or even what might be cool is because there's trains in this um, mod pack to have an actual miniature train set type of thing going around the base and having it so you can see it come through the walls or something like that, you know, and then down there, we might look into that, that might be fun. But, um, so yeah, it's not going to be like a direct line from A to B, it'll be something bringing it somehow. I don't want to use ender chest because I know you could just pop it into an ender chest and have it sucked out down there. I want to actually have this place moving and feel as if it's alive, you know, so that's what we'll be doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, um, finish off this room, just get the floor on it, um, rig up these barrels here, maybe put in some chests here, I'm not sure, 
and then we'll actually work on a staircase going down somehow or something like that. Uh, oh, no, oh, forgot about that. Something I wanted for this room actually. This is a trick that's been around for a very long time, but it's to put every second block here. Oh no, no point in you going there, buddy. Can't see you. But every second block being a furnace. And then what you do is you plunk them like that. And I think that looks really nice. So I, I think this is the way the floor will look. Um, so yeah, I'll finish this and I'll get back to you in a minute. So guys, welcome back. Uh, while we don't have the processing room set up, I set up a electric furnace with a generator here. Just so I could smelt my stone and stuff because the, uh, the barrels down here were getting overflowed. So, um, yeah. I've also made staircases here and one on the other side. Uh, one's made out of glass. Um, what do they go with? They're not the half slabs, they're the smaller panel strips. Or oh, the cover strips, sorry. And the other one's just ordinary nether brick. Um, so, I think this is how we're going to have it. I, I no longer want the whole drop down thing because it's too much hassle to fall down and then fall back up. and Or not fall up, jet back up and all that crap. So, um, you know. Stairs, they look nicer. Um, I'm kind of debating on which one to have because this way you can't really see what you want behind here. You have to walk around it. This one you can kind of see a little bit better. Uh, we'll see. I might move them, I'm not sure. But I definitely want one coming down this way and one coming down this way. So it looks like a spiral effect. I've finished the floor. I'm going to be putting lights in the floor in a minute. But um, I've started on the stairway going down to the processing room processing room will be down here. Uh, I don't think I'll make another circle out of it because this can have a lot of, um, I don't have any on me, but a lot of the machinery and stuff and you know, it'd be hard to angle them and things like that so I might just make a uh, square room, something like that, I'm not sure. But these are cover strips as well of the, uh, the stone slabs and then these are uh, pillars I believe they're called. came to a bit of a standstill here because as you're looking down it, I want these pillars to be one high and then one low. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it looks nice, you know. But uh, I think we're going to go with the bricks um, behind the wall. But I don't know to have it level with the lights or else one in from the light. Uh, something I should try if I have a saw. I do believe I have a saw. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Maybe. Definitely. Put these here because that looks quite nice, I think. Yeah, that looks nice. So I'm going to continue this all the way down, get these lights rigged up to the toggle latch, and then we'll begin on the processing room. Woot. Okay, we have it finished. These are uh, half a block into the wall. Um, I think these are the dudes who catch the light from these, and they like keep emitting light. It's it's a glitch with the game. I don't know. But this is what the the uh, walkway looks like without any light in it, except for the light that's going to be up here. And when you flick it on. Poof. Stupid lights. Yeah, there's some glitchiness with the lights, but meh. Oh, oh, oh. Made a jukebox. Oh, I've had a jukebox for quite a while, I just haven't used it. Anyway, um, I think with this we might have it so it comes out into like a balcony of some sort. I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, get to the other jukeboxes, or oh, not jukeboxes, the uh, records and things. It's in here, which is out of the way. Yeah, it is very simple to make, I love it. It's so, so, so easy with red LOR. So, um, yeah, that's going to be there. I was thinking about a fountain or something, but for a jukebox. I uh, figured I'd make one of these mass fabricators. Oh, a bit of lag. Uh, basically what we'll be doing is using the power up there, but uh, what I've done so far, guys, down here, uh, I think the problem with this is the fact that these are all micro blocks, like they're double half slabs, but that's micro, and so is the uh, actual stairs, so I think they're glitched down, just catching the light. <laughs> um, I've made this more of a square, but as you can see, like to make it center, so that's dead center right here, it's three blocks, sorry, 
four blocks from there, so that's only four blocks out to there, so it'll be a very small circle. And if I make it a bigger circle, that will be off-center. So I think what we'll do is just uh, scrap the idea about having the center circle and then branching out from there. We'll just plunk stuff where we see fit, and then after a while, we'll um, start organizing and decorating and all that stuff. But right now, I really want just everything in its place so I can actually start making stuff. Because just making this mass fabricator, I had to... I don't know why I bother with stairs, I just use my jetpack all the time. I had to rig up a generator and all that stuff, so... You know, it's stuff I shouldn't have to do, I should already have it finished. But, um, you know, I rigged it up there first, now we're moving it down, or we're moving it down here. I'm putting the mass fabricator down here, I think. I've cleared this space down here for... Okay. Uh, with the... What's it called? Portal gun, shot the moon, brought it down here, sucked everything out, and took out all the valuables from it, basically. Um, this is just some open cave that it's part of, so, you know. But I think we're going to have a few tree farms down here, and just, you know, flak farms, and everything to do with farms, basically, is going to be down here until we actually have it situated up top. The reason why I want a mass fabricator is for UU matter, and UU matter can be used to make pretty much anything in the game, which is pretty cool. What you do is they're little pink balls, and you angle them in certain positions, like you put three across here, one in the middle, and three across, and you get one uh, uranium. And then you put like three in a line, you get lava and stuff like that, you know, so... Basically, it's a really uh, kind of cheaty way to get anything you want in the game. So if you're, you can't find any gold or diamonds, you can stack up just nine in a square and get a diamond. Play this one. Eat the cookie. And we're back, and the lag is back, and that's horrible. Oh my god. Um, okay, so while we have very, 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 very quiet house, figured I'd make an MFSU. Uh, I'm not sure how much these guys hold, and I don't want him on my hotbar. I know I'll just click it, and it'll disappear. And where's the? Stay closed. Oh, get up. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we're going to plonk him there. Hey, hey. Uh, eventually these guys here will be MFSUs as well. But for the time being, we'll just have the one because it did take quite a lot without the processing. We're finished! Um, I have good news and i got bad news. And I've got... Yeah, that's the only news I have. So the good news is we just got an MFSU. The other good news is... See? Two good news. That's how great it is. The other good news is we have two UU matter. The bad news is I have to keep doing this to keep this thing here going. Um, and if that runs down dry, then I won't be able to get home. I also have a scrap machine. Oh, not a scrap machine, sorry, a recycler. It gives a 10% chance of getting scrap, I do believe. It's great, you just fill this thing up and it'll just work forever. It's amazing. Um, so that's actually what this here is for. Wait for time. Nom nom. So, uh, with... Oh, oh. oh damn it. Give me some back. Just a little bit. That's enough. I think that's enough. So, turn it off so I don't waste it. Uh, so with this dude here, it slowly goes up. You'll see that, yeah. Slow goes up. Once we get seven, we can make one Iridium more. And then with the Iridium more, we can make uh, advanced solar panel. So that would be this doomhickey here. Um, so basically, the only thing... We need, alright, we can make these, we make them, we make that fine, we have them, obviously. Um, we have everything here, except for this dude here. We have all this stuff, which is easy to make, and this iridium plate is uh, refined iron, around one iridium ingot, and you just get an iridium ore, which you get from that dude there, put it in a compressor, you get an ingot. So once we have some advanced solar panels, we'll be able to get much more energy, and that's what the MFSU will be there for, because... Obviously, I don't want to waste any energy, because that would just be stupid. So, yeah, we're going to see it happen. So, you know, go check this. Okay. Give me 99. 99. 100. Yep. Yeah. So, we have three. So, we need seven. Uh, it is quite... Uh, quite a wait, to be honest. <laughs> but, like, I set this up in a creative world where I had the uh, ultra hybrid things and this was just pumping them out like no tomorrow and with the scrap is all you 
So yeah, I come back from a bit of work outside, and this dude here is standing right there. Scares the crap out of me. Uh, I wonder if that's too dark. Uh, so yeah, well, uh, you put a scrap box in, it's amplifier, so it, it takes less uh, power now. Even though we have none, I might fill up just... Oh, no, keep them on. Just a little bit. Like, a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. There we go. So what are you getting from me, buddy? See, I see one box will amplify it for a certain amount of time and see how much quickly... Like, look at that. Isn't that brilliant? If I had scrap boxes from the beginning, it, like, it makes the power more efficient. So if you're an idiot bringing your um, jetpack back and forth, then use scrap boxes. They help. I mean, look at that. We're going to get iridium plates in no time. We get more here. We should have brought wood. Why didn't we bring wood? I don't think there's a mine anywhere. Okay, so I will see you guys. Okay, well, we have seven pieces of U matter. I have four generators packed with um, four stacks of coal. <laughs> it's not quicker, but um, it's easier. And it gives my uh, generators up there a break. This dude here, we need more um, cobblestone. But I think we can bear witness to the birth of uranium. Woot. Uranium. Look at it. Look. Look. Oh no. I don't want to lose him. So, we finally have a bit of uranium. My god. Uh, it's... Uh, nope, we're going under here. Um, so yeah, I finally got uranium. Never thought I'd get uranium. Um, I, I thought the uh, matter fabricator was actually part of uh, Greg Tech. You're just going to take ages now, aren't you? So it's it's nice to finally um, get a hold of some high-end, end-of-the-game kind of product, you know? So yeah, we have a MFSU uranium about to get advanced solar panels so yeah we're uh, slowly but surely getting there no doubt you're uh, you're doing good wait for time so I've been playing this for pretty much um, since about nine o'clock so that's about four hours now just trekking back and forth doing some stuff and I've only gone through about 12 uh, wafers which isn't bad at all. Are you done? You are done. Okay, what do we need for you? We need advanced, advanced, this thing, that thing, that, these guys. How do you make these? Glowstone, how do you make them? Refined uranium, brown uranium. It's not a uranium block, it's something inside something. Yep. Uranium ore, yeah, inside a compressor, gives you that. Okay, alright, yeah, 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 we can do that. Reinforced glass. Oh my god, this gonna take ages. <laughs> it's like, it's not hard to build, it's just the crap you need to build it. It's gonna take quite a while. We need a lot of advanced alloy. So, okay, I'm gonna get building with this. I'll bring you back when we have this set up. And then I will craft it, and we will place it, and then we will grind for some more. My dog just yelped downstairs. He's such an idiot. Back in a moment. So, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're pushing about 24 minutes, give or take. I think 24 minutes, about 10 seconds, about now. Yeah, yeah I've, I've already edited the beginning of the video, so I already know. Um, in my haste and excitement, I already craft two of these dudes. Um, next time I build one, I'll show taking out the crafting bench or something, I don't know. Uh, these are actually pretty good. They produce 8 EU during the day and 1 during the night. I think these are for more energy storage, so this can store more, I'm not sure. I don't think it's to produce more, it's just to store more, so we're not really going to bother with that, considering we have one of those buddies down there. Uh, these are actually brilliant. Um, if I get uh, the rest of them, like all these here, all them there and along there, we won't need to bother with these um, top layer. So, yeah, that will go there. So, yeah, I'm actually getting decent power now. It's going up fairly fast. I just need to make more, so I'm going to be grinding the crap out of that. Um, considering we're pushing about 24 minutes, I think we're going to end the episode here. Uh, sorry we haven't got much done. You know, uh, I don't know. To be honest, I did get stuck on the processing room. Um, I don't want to continue because I'll screw it up 
because I won't like it because I'm very picky. Because I want it so like you put down your polarizer, it gets polarized. You put it into furnaces and it comes out here. But then over here, I also want furnaces just for when you you just want to use the furnace and not go through the whole processing fur processing line. I mean, you know. And then there's I'll use a macerator as well as a polarizer. Then I have to rig that up. And you know, I don't want it just so it's like a ton of crap along here, a ton of crap along here, and a ton of crap along here. I want it so it, there's actual pathways along this room and so you have to you know so it looks nice so it's an actual place you want to be instead of just coming down here to do some stuff and bugging her off so um yeah the uu matter and things like that no they're, they're going fairly well shut up i have one awesome uh with this guy here i'm yeah have no um cobblestone for it but in here i've got uh blaze spawner and it's just for the blaze rods, which I don't have anymore. I think I have one in here. Yeah. So I have a blaze spawner there. It's basically the spawn is about yay high. There's water, it kills them, it brings me blaze rods. That's about it. So um, I think I'm actually playing on peace right now because I was in a creative world. Yeah. Hmm. I actually haven't played on uh, off of hard difficulty in this world, to be honest. I kind of like the challenge. So yeah, sorry we haven't got much done this episode, guys. There was a lot of things that took quite a bit of effort, like the uh, advanced solar panels and just grinding for you matter when you don't have that great of a power source. It's uh, it's pretty difficult, to be honest. So, um, considering I bolted up the processing room, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the staircase back here, have it a 3x3 three three gap, and then have it so you walk around and go down the staircase on that side and that side, and then have it so it's more centered underneath here, but further underground maybe but basically when you guys come back next episode we will have a lot done wait for time uh, we'll have a lot done in processing room so we'll actually be able to build stuff I am quite annoyed I wanted this thing done fairly sharpish but you know stuff gets in the way and I, I did do quite a bit of grinding just for two solar panels which is a bit irritating um, so next episode processing room we'll also start on this room in here we'll uh, finish up there and then we'll do stuff with the ceiling, so I'm really looking forward to doing that. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like. Also, look out for uh, some new episodes coming from me. I'll be doing um, Death Space 3, uh, kind of like a playthrough. It's not going to be a walkthrough, it's just going to be me sitting down, relaxing, chatting while playing some Dead Space 3. Um, I haven't played it yet, so it's going to be all brand new to me. I don't think I'll be playing on the hardest difficulty, maybe the difficulty below it, like kind of normal difficulty, I guess. Just because I don't want to be dying a ton, and then being like, alright guys, uh, we gotta cut it here, because I died about eight times, you know, so. Look at that, look how awesome that is. Yeah, this is the stuff you play Minecraft for, just look at this place, it is freaking amazing. You know, like, I know I said I was going to do work on the village and things like that, and then I ended up dying in the twilight, and then we kind of sidetracked from that and went back and destroyed the crap out of the twilight. But just like, imagine like the village down here and it all bustling and you know everything going along and everything it's gonna be awesome so that's gonna be very cool um something else i want to do i definitely do something with the trains by the way taking energy places but i think places like the uh tree farm stuff of like that i want a train going through the village somehow just either coming out of the mountain coming through stocking up energy then coming back around or something like that i want trains for sure so uh, we might even have it so they go past, um, go through like a place where villagers, uh, there's a ton of villagers there or something like that, and it picks them up, and then it can drop them off or something, you know. We'll look into that, it'll be cool. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you next time when we will do the processing room. I'll dedicate the episode to doing it, or else I'll do it before the episode is out, and then we'll come in and the thing will be done or something, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.